Houston Press, how may I do what you're called? I'm actually the receptionist of the Houston Press. I've worked there since 1999. I started collecting postcards, you know, in early maybe 2000, 2001. And the idea of going out to shoot them with their, with their current locations just fascinated me. First photo montage I did was a, a photograph of, of me and my mother. We we're standing in front of our house in South Houston. She passed away three years ago, so it was very sentimental to take this shot. And it's really what catapulted this entire project. When I found the picture of our own building, you know, the entire office was buzzing because nobody really knew what it was before. So this is the Houston Press building. Um, this picture is from 1965. You can see the Exxon building behind it. It was built in 1963, so it's relatively new at the time. And it used to be a, a, a Gilman Pontiac car dealership. And now this is where I work. You know, Bonneville used to be sold right out of my office. A lot of times what works with the photo is, uh, is, is lining up the existing architecture. If I have a photo and it has a, you know, a window or, or an awning, I try to line it up right. It's all about patience. The First Methodist United Church has been around since the 30s. And um, you know, the, every, I think every 15 minutes or every half hour, the, the church bells still ring. And so two blocks away at the Houston Press Building, you hear that all day long. I mean, sometimes I'll take a picture and it takes me 15 minutes just to get the shot. Whenever there's a photo with people, you definitely get the date around when it was. You know, people are in suits, people are in dresses, you know, it's, it's totally different. This was taken on Main Street outside the Rice Hotel in, I believe, 1965. You got the, the old defunct Houston Press, which is, back then was a daily paper, cafeteria, coffee house and Main Street. I would say I've become obsessed with it. Um, there will be a day where I'll, where I'll come across a photograph and I need to take it as soon as I can. Oh, this is Jones Hall. It won an award in 1967, the year it was built. Jones Hall itself is literally unchanged and the, the Gulf building behind it has a 45 foot sign that could be seen from all over Houston. The original picture was taken in 1952 and I mean, there are no skyscrapers in downtown, you know. Um, for, for a minute, um, the tallest building we had was City Hall, and now it's, you can, it's visible in the photo. And I guess in 1952, they didn't think it was, they thought it was okay to not have a fence to protect the people walking over the bridge. And as you can see, it's also existing construction. It's the exact same, the exact pillars, everything. Court in place, just minutes from downtown. It, this one's a little tricky, but luckily I have long arms. It's a private community, um, virtually unchanged since the, since the day this photo was taken. Houston is, is developing in a way where everyone thinks that we knock everything down and put it back up, but you know a lot of the rich, rich history is still is still standing. You just have to look for it.